An uptick in commercial burglaries has police investigating and business owners wondering who's behind it all. Yeah, 5 News reporter Ian Taylor digs into what's been happening recent. A recent uptick in the number of Fort Smith businesses impacted by burglaries is leaving owners feeling vulnerable. It's more of a feeling that why would somebody do this? Carrie Take and her family have owned and operated Cheers Liquor on Rogers Avenue for more than a decade. She says she was awoken by an early morning call from her alarm company, alerting Take to a burglary, a first for the store. A uh, person had thrown a rock through our front door and came, entered the store and took a um, small amount of petty cash and a bottle of liquor. Take store was able to capture the suspect on camera, but their face was hidden. She says Cheers Liquor isn't the only store that was targeted. It's locally owned businesses. You know, these, these aren't your big chain businesses. These are businesses that are locally owned by people here. And so, it, you know, it, hit, it hurts. Fort Smith police are investigating what happened at Cheers and other businesses as of late. We're addressing those. They're all open investigations at this time. Eric Mitchell with Fort Smith Police tells 5 News that detectives are working to determine if the burglaries are connected, but so far say they aren't sure. But detectives have noticed the targeted businesses appear to be similar. They're definitely targeting the, the smaller uh, type of business like liquor stores, convenience stores. The reason being? This type of crime doesn't take long to, to uh, pull off. It only takes you know 30 seconds or so to smash a window, jump in, grab the cash and go. Take and other businesses are looking for answers and doing all they can to prevent this from happening again. We have 16 cameras, ring cameras. We keep the store lit up, um, alarm systems. But even with the precautions, Take feels violated. Just really have never felt that way. Fort Smith Police want the businesses to know they are working to solve the investigation and are asking the public for help. If you see anything out on the street in, a, in an area where it seems it should not be, if there's an individual who, who isn't acting right around a business, just give us a call. Uh, you know, it may be nothing, but it may be, it also may be the thing that helps us break a case. In Fort Smith, covering news where you live, Ian Taylor, 5 News. Fort Smith Police encourages all businesses to have interior and exterior lights turned on when closed and have cameras inside and outside the store. Police also say it's best to avoid leaving cash in the register overnight, but if you have to, only leave a very small amount.